Hello everybody. In this video we are going to understand the differences in the chromosomes and the DNA during the S phase and the anaphase as well as the ploidy in these phases. During the S phase our DNA replicates but the chromosome number remains the same. Whereas during the anaphase our chromosome number will double. Now in order to understand this concept, we will consider the centromere of the chromosome as the entire chromosome because it is based on the number of centromeres that we count the number of chromosomes. So if we have two centromeres, it refers to having two chromosomes. The arms of the chromosome are the DNA. Now if you remember our video on the differences between genes DNAs and chromosomes, we said that DNA is our recipe book whereas our chromosome is a compressed file. In the S phase, we copy and paste just our recipe book and we do this in order to ensure that we have a backup of our recipe book but we store it in the same chromosome. So our chromosome is the folder and our DNA is the file. So we have two files which are identical. Hence we have two DNA in one chromosome in the S phase. But in anaphase, the spindle fibers split apart the two sister chromatids. The centromere will split apart and we will have two chromosomes because at this stage we have two centromeres. We have two DNAs and we have two chromosomes. Next is determining the ploidy at each stage. What does the term ploidy indicate? Ploidy does not mean the number of DNAs. It refers to the number of chromosomes. So in the S phase we had just one chromosome. Hence the ploidy will remain the same because it's just that the DNA or the recipe book has doubled. But the folder remains the same which is the same old folder. Hence we have one chromosome in S phase our cell will be deployed because the number of chromosomes has not changed. But when we come to anaphase in this stage we decided to move our replicated file or the replicated DNA into another folder by splitting the centromeres apart and making those two strands of DNA into two chromosomes. Hence in this stage the number of chromosomes will double. If we were talking about a diploid cell, in the anaphase stage we have a tetraploid cell. I hope this video was helpful in understanding this concept. That's all we have for today. Thank you.